Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have a very, very exciting video today. So if you don't know, I love anything and everything having to do with thrifting, antiquing, going to yard sales, estate sales, garage sales, anything like that, flea markets, I love it all. We went to two estate sales and an antique mall recently and my mind is blown. These hauls never happen for me. Today's the day. Today's the day because we struck gold at these estate sales. So I'm very excited about everything and I just I just need to show you everything that I got. So first we'll start with, let's start with the antique mall because we went there first. So the first thing we got at the antique mall was this teak picture frame. I love it first because obviously the wood and these little details here in the corner, but I also thought it was interesting because it's three and a half by five and I don't have any picture frames that size. So yeah, I just thought something different, something a different size. And here's the thing about picture frames is I will always try and thrift a picture frame before I buy it new. New picture frames are so expensive. And for what? Why are they so expensive? So you can always, always, always thrift picture frames. They're always going to be at the thrift store. So I had to snag this. I think this was $2. I ripped off the tag. Maybe it was four. Okay, the second thing I got from the antique mall were these cranes. I think they're brass and, well, I don't know. I don't know if this is like cedar or teak, I don't know. It doesn't say what kind of wood these are, but I thought they were super mid-century, really interesting. I thought these would be great on a bookshelf or something as like bookends or I don't know. I just thought they would be really cute on a bookshelf. Next up is this pair of brass wall sconces. For the pair, they were $10 and they need to be cleaned. They're a bit dirty, but yeah, I just thought these were really, really pretty. And I don't have any sconces and on my Pinterest, I have a ton of photos pinned with sconces and lots of tapered candles and that kind of vibe. So I was very, very happy to have these. I don't know if we'll put them in like in our bedroom above our nightstands or maybe in the living room, I don't know, but I need to clean them up and then they'll be good to go. Last but not least is this adorable strawberry jar. So yes, it is just a glass jar, but look at the top. Hand painted strawberries antique it has oh can i get it open it has the seal works really well because that's one thing i found with jars at antique malls or thrift stores sometimes the rubber gasket isn't there so there's it doesn't actually create the seal that you want but anyway i thought this was so so adorable i don't know what i'm gonna put in here yet but just the cutest little jar okay so i was introduced to the idea of a porch goose or a porch duck a few years ago and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever, how you can dress them up in different outfits for different seasons or holidays or whatever. And so I've been passively looking for a concrete duck for the last few years and I finally found one at this estate sale. So here he is. <laughs> the plan is to power wash him and then actually paint him. So obviously we're gonna do the yellow beak or the yellow bill and the white with the yellow feet and he's gonna be so cute and I'm so excited to get all the different outfits for the different seasons and everything. I am taking name suggestions so let me know in the comments any good name suggestions for my porch duck. But yeah, he's concrete, he's really heavy, and I'm really happy to have him in the family. Okay, next is everything we got from the first estate sale. So from the first one, we got that goose outside that I already showed you, or I guess it's a duck, right? So we got that concrete duck, which is just the most amazing thing because I've been looking for a concrete duck for literally three years, and that one was $20. So really happy with that, but let me show you everything else we got. So I got this pink cardigan and it's in really great shape. It's barely pilling at all. Um, it is quite oversized on me and not necessarily cute oversized. It's just kind of like fits weird oversized because I got home and I tried it on. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to wear it because I really don't have anything pink in my closet. And it's vintage too, I mean, this tag is a classic vintage tag. The only thing is that this is 100% acrylic and I really try to just buy and thrift items that are natural fibers. So this might be a flop, but I'm gonna try and see what I can do with it. Next up, we got this sleep dress. It's flannel, it's so oversized. I don't know if you can even see how large this thing is. My husband actually saw it and pointed it out and he wanted it for himself. I think we're gonna end up sharing it, but it's very, it's very large and in charge. And yeah, there's really nothing else to say about it. It's a big flannel sleeve dress. The last thing we got from that first estate sale is one of these 
accordion hangers, is that what they're called? I thought with this, we could hang our ball caps on it because we are gathering quite the collection of ball caps and they're kind of just all sitting stuffed up in the top of our closet and I've been looking for something to hang them on and I saw this and I thought that would be perfect. I just thought it was a really sweet little hanger. It was $5, but everything at this estate sale was 25% off. So do the math there. <laughs> So the second estate sale was more cottage farmhouse kind of vibe, but not in a cheesy way, in a very vintage cozy way. We absolutely loved the house itself and everything they had in it. We went on the last day too, so everything was 50% off and we still found a bunch of good stuff. So I'm actually kind of sad that we didn't go on the first day because I'm sure there were treasures that were snatched up pretty quick, but anyway. The second and last thing we have outside is this reclining lawn chair. We don't have a reclining one, and my husband saw this one, and it's in great shape. There are no holes or anything, so yeah, it's really nice for like $5. We thought it was perfect. It is covered in rat poop, so we do have to clean it really well before we use it, but we thought it was perfect. The first thing we got was that outdoor lounge chair that I showed you, not lounge chair, um, reclining lawn chair. So we got that and then let me show you everything we got for the house. Some of this stuff is really random, but just roll with it, okay? So for 50 cents, we got this pig uh, pot holder, hot mat pad, as my family calls it. I just thought it was sweet and it was only 50 cents. And then we got these, I think, I mean, these are like a pot holder material. I think you can put these down on your counter to put a pot on so you don't have to use like a whole pot holder um but anyway these just have cute little fruits on them strawberries and what's that oranges are they all the same yeah okay so they're all the same but there are four of them and i just thought these were really sweet and really cute next up i got these pictures of oh no that one's ripped i didn't even realize that this one is ripped right there can you see that anyway it's these pictures of flowers these vases with flowers and i just thought they were so sweet i mean they're not life-changing or anything but i just thought they were really cute and we really need more art in our house and i thought maybe these would be cute in a powder a powder bath or something next up we got this shelf i have no idea what we're gonna do with this i don't know if we're gonna mount it on the wall or put it on top of a table of some kind in our kitchen or yeah i don't know name things that i could put on this little knickknacks should I put it in the kitchen? It was $6, so. I'm really excited about this. We got this shoe rack, and I mean, it's real wood. It's pretty substantial. It was $15, we got it 50% off that. And I mean, I don't know about you, but we could use more shoe racks in our house. There's not much else to say about it other than it's just a pretty cute shoe rack, and it was really inexpensive. This next item is I don't know if it's my favorite or tied for my favorite because there are two items I'm so excited about. Here's the first one. This chair. This is a little vintage oak chair and I've been looking for a chair exactly like this for a couple years now at thrift stores and I haven't been able to find one. This was $10 at this estate sale and I have a very specific goal in mind with this chair over the years i've seen a lot of pictures like this one where they have a cute little vintage chair at the end of stairs or i don't know in the corner of literally any room in your house and you can put books on it or flower vases or whatever you want and i just think if this chair is not for sitting by the way i think you'd break it if you sat on it the other item fighting for first place from this estate sale is this vintage lamp the shade is in perfect condition and I thought the little curved swoop down moment was very very adorable the thing is it's very short I'm 5'8 goes to my shoulders I don't know exactly where we're going to put this lamp yet maybe over that oak chair in the corner of a room or maybe over a reading chair or I don't know I truly don't know but I had to have it the shade like I said is in pristine condition which I cannot believe and the lamp was so, so inexpensive. I couldn't believe it and I had just had to have it. So. We really struck gold in the lamp department. Chris found this one. Let me see if I can get this on here Woo, without breaking it. So it just goes up against the wall like that. I don't know when this was from. I saw 
someone selling this on Facebook Marketplace literally a year, or um, not a year ago, a week ago, and they were selling it for $90. We got this for $5. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cute. The cord is a little questionable, so we might have to figure out something about that. I know you can buy light bulbs that are just controlled with your phone, so you don't even need the cord. So we'll have to look into that. Is that, am I saying cute too much? I just loved everything in this house. Like they, they had great interior design style in my opinion. So anyway, another little sconce. I think we're probably good on lighting, except I don't think you could have too much ambient lighting. I just don't, I hate overhead lighting. So very, very cute, cute. Last but not least is an item that isn't really fancy or cute, but it's something that was actually on our need list. None of this was on our need to buy list except for this last item and we got it for really cheap and it's not exciting but here we go we got a small filing cabinet it's in pristine condition no dents the drawers work perfectly and it was 750. filing cabinets are so expensive another thing that's so expensive why are they so expensive this house had maybe a dozen filing cabinets they had five drawer two drawer four drawer they had any filing cabinet you could ever imagine. And this one was in perfect condition. I couldn't believe it. It was right there. I was about to shell out $100 for one of the same size. I'm trying to see if there's anything I forgot or if that was everything. Oh, on the way home from the estate sales, we did stop into one thrift store that we've been meaning to go to for a couple years now. Honestly, we just haven't really made the time to go over there. But, and it was kind of a done. The whole place wasn't our favorite. But I did find this genuine leather vest and they were selling it for $20. For genuine leather, this vest, $20. I was like, yes, please. I got home and it is ever so slightly snug on me. So that's a bummer. Okay, I think officially that's everything I got. I still just cannot believe that the thrift gods were on my side this weekend. Like I said, hauls like this never happened for me. I know we have some different vibes going on. We have some cottage. Uh, maybe like kind of farmhouse vibes. We have the leather vest mixed with the pink sweet cardigan. We have the mid-century cranes. Our house is just eclectic, I guess. I guess that's our vibe. Just whatever we find and what we like, we just kind of buy it and put it in our house. So anyway, I'll stop talking, but make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe down below. Hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Make sure to comment below <laughs> duck name suggestions for our porch duck and let me know if you like these thrift haul videos because i love thrifting i love going to estate sales like i said so i am very keen to go to many more and show you all of the wonderful goodies that i get so let me know if you're interested in more videos like this one and i guess i'll see you next time bye